Hello everyone. In this video, I'll be showing you how to build a VESC one wheel using a FlipSky VESC. In this tutorial, I'll be covering the hardware part of the build, while the software configuration video will be a follow-up to this one. The VESC itself is a FlipSky 75100 slim aluminum edition, and the cables are included with the VESC. However, we'll need to modify them to fit the XR connectors. To convert your XR, you'll need a flip sky vest with bullet connectors, an anti-spark switch with the top lid removed for a better fit, a 12 volt step down for LEDs, the Bluetooth module with a modified connector, MPU 6050 IMU, and the foot pad connector. This port is shared between IMU and the foot pad on this vest. You'll also need a hall sensor connector to connect the XR motor hall cables and the custom motor face plug. I changed the Molex to bullet connectors on the motor as well. The next item is a light box RGBW controller for true white LEDs in the front. We'll also need a 3-pin XLR charge port. Now I'll show you how to wire the components. Please pause the video or take screenshots if needed, otherwise it will be too long. First, let's connect the foot pad and IMU. As I mentioned earlier, they are partly shared due to the layout on this vest. You'll also have to solder 4.7K pull-down resistors to the foot pad plug to make it reliable as shown below. Next, you'll need to modify the stock plug of the Bluetooth module to fit this vest. Solder on the six wires according to the wiring guide. Hall sensor order doesn't matter, but the res does. When soldering up the charge port, make sure your polarity is correct and matches up with the charger. Optionally, you can waterproof your connectors using silicone modified conformal coating. We'll use an aluminum controller box for better heat management by float box. It's a good idea to put the rails on so you can measure the needed harness length. Now, onto the layout of the components. The 12 volt step down is behind the motor face cables and doesn't seem to be interfering with anything. The RGB controller is powered from the step down. The front LEDs are not yet installed in this shop but will be stuck to this front panel of the box. I use IP68 LED strips so it won't be a problem if it gets wet. I removed the top of the lid of the anti-spark switch because it fits much better this way and the top lid doesn't play a big part in cooling down the component. The IMU is fixed on on a 3D printed platform and it's not fully hooked up in this shot. The hall sensor and foot pad cables got braided cable sleeves so it appears more clean. The Bluetooth is not tucked away in the box to get a good signal. Finally, here's the charge port. The battery powering the setup is a 15S2P FM battery pack equipped with an FM BMS that's been modified to bypass discharging. After assembling the board, it's important to perform a thorough check through to ensure everything is working properly. In the next video, we'll cover the software configuration process. But for now, enjoy some footage of this amazing creation in action. Join me in the next video while I'll show you how to configure a new board.